Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Lovely to have you back again on this not so sunny, rainy summer's day. Can we believe this weather? Where is our summer? It's outrageous. This is like autumn, but warm. Do you know what I mean? Because it's still warm out, but it's just miserable. <laughs> and it makes me miserable because I bloody hate this weather. I don't mind if it's cold and sunny, but I just hate the rain. It, it just stops you from doing what you want to do, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get on with this video. So I've got a little Poundland haul for you. A bit of home decor. Um, so I came across these little bits in another pound shop I went in. Um, this little pound shop, actually it's quite a big pound shop. Um, you know, like in your areas, you could have maybe four or five pound shops and each one will have different things in it. So you go in one and they've got some bits, then you go in another one and that one's got different stuff what that one's got and so on and so on and so on. So this particular one I went in today had completely different bits in it from all the others, all the others I've been to over the last few weeks. Well, the, not the last few weeks, yeah, yeah, maybe the last few weeks. Anyway, so you know I'm collecting my bits and pieces like my kind of creams and beige and stony kind of colours, those kind of colours. Um, so in there, they, they, they've got, the, this is called a donut vase and you may have seen them in yours, in your pound shop rather. These are three pounds each I believe, let me just double check. They're three pounds each. It's called a donut vase but I quite like the stone effect again but it's smooth so it's not got a rough texture. It's just got a little speckled effect on there all the way around. Uh, little top bit there, obviously, you know, you can't put much in it. It's literally a little donut bud vase, so you can put a few little buds in it. But this I thought would go really well with part of my decor as well. So for three pound, I actually didn't think that was too bad. It's ceramic as well. Let me just check to see if it says what else it says on the bottom. No, nothing, just as vase actually. Um, but to go with this as well, I picked up one of the little burners, so it's matching. The donut bars. Now they didn't have this in my local one, as I say, this was a completely different pound shop I went in. So obviously you put your little mini candle on the bottom there, your votive candle on the bottom there, or your tea light candle on there. And then you can put essential oils in the top, you can put um, your wax melts on top. And you used to be able to get, a while ago, um, they were like granules. And you could buy them in different scents. So a very, very popular one at the time, and I am going back now quite a few years ago, a good maybe, I reckon maybe 15 to 20 years ago, you used to buy them in little packets. They was all different scents, so you had like lavender, um, all the different perfumes as well. And the very, very popular one I used to have was called uh, Giorgio Armani, and you used to get it in a perfume, then they bought these granules out. So you obviously put your candle in the bottom there, put your granules in the top, and it gives you this, this really lovely scent. Actually, I don't think it's as long as 20 years ago, maybe maybe about 15 years ago. Um, and I used to have the Giorgio Armani. Not Giorgio Armani, it was just called Giorgio, I think. Were they in a yellow box with stripes down them? Have I got that right? Can't think, but the name Giorgio is coming to my mind. Let me know your comments, have I got that right? It's not Giorgio Armani, I think it was just called Giorgio or Giorgio Beverly Hills or something like that. But do let me know. Um, and as I said, you can buy these little packets of granules, you put them on the top and they, and they give off this lovely scent. So you can use those as well if you find them as well. Um, so yeah, picked up these two as a little matching set again. So these are gonna be displayed, you know, wherever I'm gonna display them. Oh dotted around my house, bathrooms and whatnot. Um, they also had these in there, these was 150. These are little bud vases as well, but look how cute they are. I love the shape, it's got the stone effect on the bottom, what I like, and then the smooth, uh, glossy effect on the top there. And it's a bit like, um, um, like a beehive style, do you know what I mean? Um, Really cute, they are a bud vase. It does say on the bottom, um, does it say bud vase? It does, it says rustic white half glaze bud vase. 
and these are by the company Sass and Bell. Now, now and again, Poundland Pound Shop had these Sass and Bell products in there, but not every pound shop does them. But this particular pound shop had these. So I picked up a couple because these will go with my decor absolutely perfect. I didn't buy too many, so I only bought two of them because, you know, I don't want to overdo it. But for 150 each, I thought they were brilliant. Really cute little bug vases. Now, moving on to another bit of home decor. This is also by Sass and Bell. Uh, there's three little pots in here. I've not opened this one, but I did see um, um, they was on the shelf. So I did see them on the shelf and I picked them up and thought, oh yeah, they're, they're really cute. So let me see if I can undo this. I'm gonna quickly undo this off camera and I'll come back to you and get it out of the box. Sesame Bell, I've got it upside down now. Um, let me take them out. There's the picture. Got cardboard falling out there. Really cute. They are called, well, they're just called Grey Mini Cement Planters, and you get a set of three. They were three pounds as well. Let me, I'm just going to check to make sure they were three pounds. I'm pretty sure they was um, for the set. Right, I actually thought they were £3 for this set, they weren't, they were £4, but look how cute they are. Look at these little colours, mini little Sassam Bell ceramic pots, or cement pots as they, they're calling them. Um, they, they've got three different sort of designs on there. They had them in black and they had them in blue as well. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't have my camera to take a bit of footage while I was in there and I thought, sod's law, innit? I've, ca I've come in here thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get a lot, you know, I'm not gonna see much. Lo and behold, bits on the shelf, which I thought I've not even seen before, and I haven't got my camera. So apologies for that. But anyway, look at these, look how sweet they are. Three little mini pots. You could even have these as little herb pots. You know, like you can buy, um, sorry, I've got the dust is coming off, it's going on my nose. Um, you can buy, sometimes Aldi do them, like little sets of uh, grow your own herbs, B&M do them. So you could actually grow your own herbs in these as well. The only thing they've not got, obviously, is a hole in the bottom. So um, I don't know how that would stand. I'm not very good at growing things, so, uh, but maybe you could, I don't know. But look how cute they are. Three little mini. You could also use these as tea light holders as well. The only thing with these is, with the tea light holder, you're obviously not going to see the light shining through here because it's cement. You can only see the light coming out the top. But look how cute they are. I actually thought they'd be quite nice in a bathroom, just sitting on the side, on their own, with nothing in them, just the three of them. Super cute, love these. Now, while we was in there, Maya picked up a lovely notebook. Um, Nanny, please we buy me a new notebook. I need a new notebook to do my notes in. She's six. <laughs> Um, of course, Nanny's going to buy it for her. Anyway, look at this, a beautiful notebook. If you're really, like, love stationery, like I love stationery, um, I think this is a really lovely notebook. Now, it was £3, so it's on the upper end of the money side of things, if you like, but it's a really lovely hardback notebook. Bright lemon on there as well, so really lovely, lovely design. They also had the matching pencil case, which she also picked up, which was £2. Um, and to go with it as well, she picked up these really lovely, well, not just to go with this, it's to go with, to do with colouring, actually. She picked up some lovely pastel pens, these are felt tip pens. Unfortunately, she's taken them out of the box and I can't find the box, but the colours are absolutely lovely. These are by Mapid. They was £2, so again, higher up for your, for your felt tip pens when you can buy them in there for a quid. But the colours, let me see if I can put the colours together there, a pastel and they are super lovely pastel colored sorry i'm trying to get them so you can i can fan them out so you can see them um pastel felt tip pens beautiful colors um and if you're one of those people who do mindful coloring and then they do those uh, adult coloring books don't they 
We picked up one of these as well. Now she decided that she wanted it. Um, it's called a creative. It's a small one. It was in the adult coloring book, book, book section, but the designs in here are actually really, really nice. So if you're into the, you know, the, um, the coloring for adults, and I think it's something to do with mindfulness, they've got some really lovely patterns in there. So with these pastel colour pens, if this is something you're into and it does help you with mindfulness or, or you know, your, your mental health issues and you're really into this, go and have a look in the pound shop because they've got some really lovely, um, and it's called Creative Books. It says on there, colour these beautiful illustrations and soothe your mind. Really good and really handy size. If you were going away, you know, travelling, wherever you're travelling, going, going on holiday, um, pocket size we're going handbag get yourselves a little pencil case some lovely coloring pens the pastel colors perfect little solution there if you if you want to do a little bit of coloring um really really nice and i think this was one pound was it or 150 something like that for the um for the adult coloring book no it was a pound beg your pardon it was a pound I've just checked so not bad at all and you've got loads in there you know quite a lot so do check that out as well and then the very last thing we bought was just some sponge mix some icing and some chocolate chips which we already opened because my eyes started to eat them <laughs> before we got them home we wanted to do the baking uh with the chocolate chips obviously and then do the icing to go on top of it um, and she started opening the packet and eating the chocolate chips while i was in the car on the way home so we hadn't even got to do this yet that's kids for you, isn't it? Yeah. We are bringing together the little Primark, the Matalan, what else? B&M, hang on a minute, I'm just trying to think. B&M, Matalan, and Poundland. Yeah. <laughs> Those places. I'm trying to think what I'm trying to bloody say, silly woman. So I'm bringing together those little decor pieces, the sale bits, the cheap bits, upcycling them and showing you how I'm styling them. So with the £5.50 mirror, which was from Matalan, um, which I styled over there, I've already painted the edge of it as well. So I'm gonna show you how I've done that. Um, what else? Oh, I've got a Poundland hack for you as well. So again, this is all home decor. So if this is something you might be interested in, a bit of home decor, but a bit of upcycling from not thrift finds, from the actual stores, then stay tuned and we'll crack into the video. Okay, now the first thing I want to show you is a Poundland hack, okay? Now, I've already started doing um, this vase. Now, this is going to be a vase arrangement, okay? Now, vases, uh, glass vases, you can go in the range, you can go uh, Poundland, sometimes do them as well. You know, you can, as to home, where there's lots of places what do relatively cheap vases, like, like this. Now, yeah, they're great for fresh flowers, but if you want to add some, let's say, artificial flowers and really, you know, elevate your home, then paint the vases. That's all you need to do. Uh, you can go in the thrift shops, you can buy cheap vases. I mean, this cost me about three pound. Um, I can't, don't ask me where I got it from, because I bloody well can't remember. But anyway, it was a thrift find, you know? So you can upcycle things like this. You do not need to go and spend loads and loads of money on a vase which you can upcycle yourself, okay? So get some inspiration. Go onto Pinterest, go onto, you know, just go onto Google and put in, I don't know, stone effect vase for instance and you'll see a huge amount and you can just have a look at the photo and do it yourself so i found a vase on um the website i was flicking through uh there was a couple actually liberties of london not liberties of london liberties of london possibly and another one called olivia's um, and i was looking for a particular vase with like little novels all over it Okay, so I'll pop the pictures up for the inspiration that I actually saw and I thought, I can do that, I can do that. So I picked up this glass, now forget what it looks like at the moment because I've already started up cycling it, but I'm going to explain to you how I've done it. So a bowl, that's all it is, it is just like a round glass bowl. 
Now, you can pick up the same bowl in plastic in the pound shop, and I will put the picture up as well for you so you can physically see it. It's about two pound. It's a cocktail bowl, but you can replicate this using the pound shop one, all right? Easy, 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 easy. Now, to create the little bobbles on here, let me bring it closer so you can see. All dotted about, all I've done is get a glue gun and a glue stick, created little bobbles on a greaseproof piece of paper, and I'll show you that as well. My glue dots all over like this, peeled them off, add another little glue dot on here from, uh, in fact, you can buy glue dots from Hobby Craft if you don't want to use a glue gun. Use your glue gun, dab a bit of glue on the back of it and stick it on. And that's all I've done. And as you can see here, there's the ones which I've recently done. I already did quite a few and then I sprayed painted it, but I need to do this another coat. So I wanted to save it to you guys, but as you can see, it has started cracking a little bit, as I say, because I need to do an extra couple of layers of spray paint. Um, and then cover it with your, with your glue dots all the way over, all the way around, until you get the desired effect you want. Now, obviously, you don't need to do the dots what I've done. You can do lines. So you get, get your glue gun and you can go up and down with a glue gun like this, creating like a drizzle effect. And, it, and it's a, a different look again. Um, relatively easy to do and so cheap. You can buy a glue gun from Pound Shop, I think they're about fiver, uh, Wilco's, uh, Hobbycraft do as well, and you can buy glue sticks in Pound Shop as well, and also the range. So all of these little places do little mini glue guns and they're really reasonable. something different um, like a bit like a lantern okay you can buy in the pound shop they're a pound well, there was a pound maybe they're 125 now two pack photo frame now these are in gold and I've had these for a long time they're in the pepper co range you get two in a pack for about a pound or 125 um, and I've got two of them now unfortunately one of mine is the glass is broke but it doesn't matter so what we're going to do is just quickly, and this really takes no time at all, is create a little kind of lantern without the top on it. And in the middle, I'm just going to put a candle, uh, candlestick holder again from the pound shop. Uh, they was a quid, they're probably 125 now. I've still got the bloody label on the bottom of mine. Um, and I've got quite a few of them and the LED candles as well. They do them in there as well. So you can create yourself little decor pieces for cheap as chips. So let's tip the camera down and we'll quickly do this one.
Now, another little hack. Get these mirrors, these round centerpiece mirrors, and that's what they're called. They're actually listed as centerpiece. Doesn't even say mirror on it. On the label on the back here, it says centerpiece. So grab yourselves one of these. There's still a pound or 125, something like that. They're no more than that. Grab yourselves one of these. And what you can do, along with the plate and the bowl we got to make our tea tray, you can actually get the mirror and place it on top of the tray. And I'm going to tip the mirror down because I'm going to, it's going to wobble and go around the place. So if you wanted to make it into a mirrored tear tray, you've got that option as well. You can glue it on or you, or you don't have to glue it on. So I'm going to tip the camera down so you can have a quick peep. So now you can see you've got your mirrored tear tray as well. So you don't even have to have it facing with, with your plate facing up. We'll take that off and flip it over and put it that way. You can also have it that way. And actually, I quite like it that way because you can actually see the raw edge underneath as well. And there you've created another part of your tear tray as well. And you've got to do nothing to it. That is it. You don't even need to glue it. You can leave it like that so you can take it apart if you want to. Super easy. Right, guys, I'm just going to quickly, this is literally a really, really quick upcycle or DIY project which is going to cost you next to nothing okay so the mirror which I've got from um, um, Matalan right all I'm going to do is paint this wooden bit white that's all I'm doing but I'm going to add a little texture to it so I'm using a bit of barcarb soda just to give it a little little bit of texture not too much I'm using tester pots which cost probably 50p well I know they and not very expensive at all. Um, a couple of tester pots there, a pl little plastic bowl to mix in, a paintbrush, scissors, a bit of painter's tape, and that is gonna be a little tray to go on there. Now, at some stage, I may add some little legs onto the bottom, but just for today's purpose, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is literally take off the, the little strap, as I said, I don't need the strap, it's going to serve no purpose for me whatsoever. Um, and then we're just going to clean the mirror. So the first thing I'm going to do is literally tape off here, because obviously I don't want to get any um, any paint on the mirror itself. So paint is tape, you can buy these in the pound shop, and you get about three rolls for a quid. Um, so just tape it off, right up to the edge, as close as you can get it. To say you don't want it, you don't want to get paint on the mirror if you can. You can scrape it off. We're just going to snip that off. And then I'm just going to put a bit of paper there as well. Put another bit of tape there.
Well, guys, as you can see, there is my pampas arrangement, which is just a mess and all over the place. It's in a tall glass vase. The tall glass vase actually comes from um, the range. I've had it for a long, long, long time, and I literally sprayed it gold. So I want to replace it out and use this one. So what I'm going to do is just going to get that out, I'm going to clean the bathroom and then I'm going to put all the bits and pieces back again and make it look a little bit neater. So I'm going to crack on and do that. I'll put some background music on and um, enjoy. Well guys, there you have it, my little Poundland, uh, Matalan, and what else did we upcycle? That was it, wasn't it? Oh, and B&M, which was this. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Take inspiration, go ahead and have a go at these things, because honestly, you'll be really surprised at yourself. So take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!